Greetings one and all. This is uh, part two. And I have what appears to be cedar bark. I don't want to burn all of it, so. A little fire practice. Make sure I'm in video. Yep. Make sure I'm in camera. I know. From what I've read and what I've heard and what I've seen, you really got to process this stuff. And you don't want to rush and I'm gonna get those, those fibers down. I'm gonna hit this with a ferrocene rod, so I wanna break these fibers down as much as possible. See, this is something I can do with Western Red Cedar. I don't know what the deal is. Maybe I need to take it home and dry it out. I mean, I'd love for someone to to tell me because I don't know if this is Western Red, Western Red Cedar or not. This is a cedar that I have, and if you've been watching my channel, you'll, you'll have seen. I was shaving here as well. My first time working with it. Let's see if that's fibrous enough to get going. There's some of these little pieces in here as well. Get my ferrocene rod. Which, if I were clever, I would have had it out at the beginning. And of course, I'm using the bunker model and the Corona scraper. Love this combo. Get a nice hot spark off of this sucker. So, get you in here. See if I can get you in close. That way you can see if my using the ferro rod technique sucks or not. So what I'm probably gonna do is uh, go at it like this. You got it. Yep. Can you guys see? falling straight through the materials.
think it's falling straight through, but not actually hitting the materials. So. Try the same way with the duct tape. There's like little ridges all over it. Not sure if it's just me or something I'm doing wrong. Hmm. Yeah, maybe it's too dry now. It's like that mystery tinder I found. On my little firesteel.com scraper. Rushing again, gotta quit doing that. Huh, there we go. Seems to burn pretty good. Anybody know why the ridges appear on here? It's just not scraping it fast enough? Or what? Maybe someone can tell me. Seems to burn pretty well. And in case someone's wondering, yes, I do have cotton balls and Vaseline in my kit. It's just coming out and practicing with other things is a good thing. I was kind of worried there for a second. I didn't think it was kind of light. But then it did, so. I'm happy for that. So, thank you, Stephen, once again for the materials. Appreciate that. I'm going to take this other grass one home and uh, let it dry out. Try it again next time. Well, there you have it. <coughs> Excuse me. I hope you guys are getting out there and getting your practicing in. I, I know the Otter Outdoorsman been out there getting his practicing in, so good job, buddy. And, uh, yeah, check the links 
description. I'll put Steven's channel down below. You can go check out his videos. He makes good videos. He's a nice guy too, so that helps. Yes, so thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.